What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. You guys know what time it is. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about <clears throat> uh, freestyle judo versus judo. Okay, so I got this question from a gentleman called Noel Bonilla. So let me just read out the, the email for you guys. Hey OG, first of first off, just wanted to re uh, commend you for all the work you have done uh, thus far in terms of fitness and martial arts uh, videos you have created on YouTube. Uh, your videos have inspired me to not only take up martial arts again, but to get into judo specifically. As a person interested in in and new to judo, uh, can you make a video of the differences between freestyle judo and regular judo? Also, which one is recommended for a person with no grappling experience? I am trying to decide which type of judo is best under my circumstances, since there are a couple of judo schools to choose. Uh, to choose, your input is greatly appreciated, and keep up the great, the the good work. Okay, well, thanks for the question. It's a great question, actually. So I'm I'm happy that. Uh, well, thanks for the compliment, and uh, yeah, so it it, it helps. You know, it keeps me motivated really to to keep making videos and it's encouraging when I get compliments like that from you guys so uh, thank you for that um, now regarding and inspiring you to to get into judo that's cool I, I get a lot of that and, and that's awesome you know uh, and still even even though like I talk a lot about judo and because that's what I do and grappling and all that I mean there's no best thing, right? Like there are limitations to every art and you're gonna have to patch it up with other uh, martial arts or combat uh, sports to <clears throat> become a complete grappler or um, martial artist, so to speak, okay? Mm, now, with that said, let me just review some of the questions because there was a couple of things that I wanted to touch on. <laughs> okay, so when you say freestyle judo, we're talking about old school judo where you could grab the legs, right? So, because new judo, new judo currently, you can't grab the legs and um, they change the rules. So which one would I choose between the two? I would choose, it, once again, it depends what your goal is. And, but let's say, uh, what I mean by that is, okay, self-defense. If your main thing was self-defense, I like freestyle judo better because it's more complete in the sense that you could grab the legs, right? It's more realistic in, in terms of um, um, well, what you could actually do, you know, because like that's the other half of the body. <laughs> if you can only play with the, the upper half, but you can't touch, you know, so it's kind of limited. The new judo is limited in that regards. Mm, whereas uh, free, free judo, freestyle judo, meaning the old version where you could just grab, uh, grab the legs and all, uh, you could double leg, you could do all of that good stuff, then yeah, for self-defense purposes, I would choose that one. Um, now with that said, okay, if you're just practicing a martial art because you enjoy it, you, uh, you, know, you want to use it as a self-development tool, and I believe that all martial arts are there for you to build yourself up first to develop self mastery and of course self development through physical uh, uh, strength, you know, developing physical strength, develop, developing mental fortitude and, you know, having all that good stuff that comes along with it, discipline, respect, honor and so on, you know, like pushing through when things are tough. And, and, and so on and so on. So it's, it's a beautiful thing. And that's what martial arts is to me. It's a way to self-mastery, if that makes any sense. To learn how to control your emotions, your thoughts, and of course to control your body and to develop yourself, like, uh, like strength of character and strength of body. So now if it's more in that sense, uh, either or. Either or is good. Now, now you said you had a couple of schools like within the area. This is what I would do. Go to all of them. All of them, try them all out, and, and not just necessarily uh, try them all out like um, uh, for one class. Okay, uh, you could go there, and I would try out each one for like a month, or maybe two weeks, or something like that. Like whatever is possible. Like you, you could talk to the coach and tell them, hey, you know, looking for a club. Is there, uh, you know, well, most clubs I think they, they let you like try for like you know one class for sure. But I mean, you you don't. Sometimes you might not really get a good enough sense, I feel, if you just do one class. 
But if you stay a month, you know, so you pay a month. Judo, judo don't cost nothing anyway, to be honest. Like, not, not, we're not here where I live, so you're talking like a couple of bucks uh, or maybe, you know, <clears throat> yeah, a couple of bucks. Anyways, a couple of bucks, boom, try one club for one month, try the other one for one month, or, you know, and, and yeah, see which one you like. Mm, and, you know, like find the one that's a good fit for you. Maybe you want to be a little bit more, you want a club that's more competitive, or maybe you want a club that's, uh, that's more leisure. Right, and then and that so so that's something to consider. And also, if you go to a club, well, you're gonna have to see how they train and you, like the vibe of the whole place, you know. And of course, the distance. Like, if if a club is too far, you have to think about stickability factor, you know. And and that like I remember hearing this in one of Shintaro Higashi's videos. He's also uh, a judoka, but I mean, he's a very accomplished judoka. Not like me, who started when he was 30, when he was 36 and just going at it now uh, so it's a, it's a completely different thing but he was talking about stickability factor like if if a club is like an hour away from you are you like you, you got to be honest with yourself and be a little bit realistic like are you really willing to go an hour to that club I mean unless it's a club that's like amazing amazing and this is a club where uh, you know like the coaches are amazing the train the training is amazing the uh, you know like everybody at the club is amazing and, and it's just the right environment for you and, and you wanna compete and all that, then okay, I can understand. But, so that's something to take into consideration. But if not, I mean, if there's two clubs that are more or less the same and you, know, and you like both of them, pick the one that's obviously closer because at least you're gonna to stick to it, right? Because, but only you know that. Because I, I say that, but when I was younger, I would travel Man, I used to take the bus for like an hour and a half just to go to Taekwondo practice, man. And I would go like, you know, how many times did I go? Holy crap. Like at least, I, I think I was going there like pretty much uh, three, three, to, three times, three, four, five times a week, something like that, you know? So like an hour and a half to go an hour and, and an hour and a half to get back. So that's three hours of traveling time a day just to go train. So, you know, it, it depends on, on like the circumstances of your, your life, right? I was younger then. I was like, what, uh, 16? Yeah, 16 to 19, I was doing my Taekwondo thing. So, I didn't care. I, I had nothing else to do. I mean, I, I was supposed to study. <laughs> I wasn't very good at that, to be honest. <laughs> not, because, not because I'm dumb. I'm not that smart. But, I mean, I, I, just, I just didn't. I just wanted to, to fight, you know, honestly. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's something that you should take into consideration. Now, Okay, and that's another thing too. If you have freestyle and then you have uh, classic, like, uh, you know, new judo, okay, and you, like both clubs are, let's say, at, at the right distance for you, well, you gotta, you gotta look at the quality in that case of the person teaching, of the coaches, okay? So, for example, if the new judo coach, the coach at the new judo club, the, the you know, uh, New judo, so I keep saying. Okay, new judo, if that coach is really good, but you know, and I told you, you should do free, like you could do, you could really consider like uh, old school judo, like like free judo. I'm getting mixed up in the terminology. Okay, so, so freestyle judo and then the new judo, right? Like you gotta pick, and if, if those two places are close somewhat, and then one coach, is uh, really good, but it's, you know, like new judo wh where you can't grab the legs. And the other one, the other coach is not as good, you know, for whatever reason, but he teaches uh, freestyle judo, so to speak, the old, where you could grab the legs. And go, with, go with the one where the coach is better and the club is better and everything is better. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, guys. Listen, I think this video has been going on a little, little, little bit too long. I don't want to go on too, too much and just, you know, because uh, I could go on for hours talking, right, about this kind of stuff. And sometimes it's not very coherent. And, uh, but, you know, that's kind of me. <laughs> I'll try to, try to fix that over time. So that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, like and, of course, share the video. So do you, would you agree with that? Would you, you know, like any other things you guys would like to add? I'd love to see that in the comments. And of course, if you need training or you need to contact me, you want to talk to me, uh, you know, all the, all the information is below so that you guys could uh, reach me, right? Because I'm also a trainer too, so I help people with that. 
and I always like get on the phone first and there's like a free consultation call if you guys are interested in talking about stuff. I'm always happy to talk to guys who, uh, who, who watch this channel, who's part of the community. And if, uh, if ever you guys need any help in terms of like weight loss and stuff like that, like I do that for a living. I do charge an arm and a leg, but we could work around that depending on what your situation is. If you're a martial artist, I'm always, you know, uh, happy to help people out, you know, uh, regardless of, you know, it's not just about the money for me. Uh, money is just for me to essentially um, keep living my lifestyle and live more, actually do more of what I'm doing now, which is essentially training and lifting weights and competing. And that's all I want to do. <laughs> I don't care about anything else. I don't care about getting rich. I don't care about being poor. Like this is, this is what I'm going to do with my life. And uh, that's it. So anyways, guys, love you. See you in the next one.